December 23rd. And as people everywhere are hitting the roads and the skies to visit friends and family, we have a live look from LAX there. And, uh, and also you can see in our area on the left, very cloudy skies. So, but LAX already looks backed up there on the right. The wet weather around Northern California continues. Let's turn it over to meteorologist Heather Waldman. So Heather, how's our radar look right now and how is our rain looking? Well, Lisa, the rain has backed off quite a bit compared to earlier this morning. As promised, it wasn't the hit or miss showers that we saw yesterday. Now, this was a good soaking rain and it was the timing combined with how heavy the rainfall was that really made some big headaches. It came into downtown Sacramento right around six o'clock this morning. Here's a look at your 12 hour rainfall totals. So this doesn't include yesterday closing in on an inch at Sacramento and an international Folsom over an inch. Same thing with Auburn over an inch and a half. So as expected, the foothills areas of the West Slope picking up about two to three times as much as what we saw on the valley floor. This is a six hour radar loop and you can see that rain. It came in and it just stuck around for a couple of hours, but the latest scan shows that things are a lot better in Sacramento. You saw that live picture a moment ago as well. Visibility much better, but the roads may still be wet, so still take it slow, especially if you come up to a, a ponded road farther off to the south, still hanging on to some steady rain around Arnold down towards San Andreas and Wallace as well. Farther off to the west, things looking a little bit lighter around Elk, Elk Grove, Rio Vista and down towards Lodi, and we still have some showers hanging on in parts of the San Joaquin Valley, but Lisa, over the next 12 hours or so, the focus is going to be snow. Ooh, snow. All right. Yeah, because rain isn't the only element impacting travel today. That snow is covering roads in the Sierra right now, as Heather mentioned. This is a look from a Caltrans camera. This is I-80 at Castle Peak near Donner Summit, and there is blowing snow there. Visibility is poor, as you can see for yourself. The pavement covered in snow and ice. You can barely see the tire tread marks there. The freeway is open, but chains are required, obviously, and it is a similar situation. Look at this. This is Highway 50 at Echo Summit. You can see how slow they need to go there. Uh, the highway's open. You can get to South Lake Tahoe, but again, it's slow going and you definitely need chains just covered in white there. So how much snow are we getting and how much more can we expect, Heather? Well, Lisa, here's the difference. The images you just saw, that's where the snow may be not so welcome. Here's an area where it certainly is. This is North Star, the golf area, uh, picking up quite a bit of heavy wet snow for now. Temperatures are in the mid 30s at a lot of resort levels, so that snow is really plaster like for the time being. But the snow levels are going to come down. The air is going to dry out. We'll get some good powder tonight into tomorrow. I think some of the luckier spots end up with snow approaching a couple of feet, uh, but you can see a big stretch of Interstate 80 now. Uh, feeling the uh, the heavy snow. We watched the snow levels come down earlier this morning. Tamara and I did right around sunrise and it was cool to see it kind of creep down. You can see evidence of it here in this uh, loop as well. South Lake Tahoe uh, kind of flirting with that rain snow line. We had a little bit of rain over the lake about an hour ago, but now they too have transitioned over to just plain old snow. Bear Valley sitting right on that rain snow line. You drive just a little bit to the west. You'll run into a chilly rain, but you keep headed eastward on a uh, route four there. That's where you're going to run into the snow and this is going to keep it up for the next 12 hours or so. So your window for easy travel through the Sierra that's closed for the time being. We may get a better window to open up later tomorrow afternoon, but Lisa, that window is looking pretty small at this point.